Hi guys, this is Diane here from Design Creative and today I will be showing you how to set up your website for curious clients. Now Beaver Builder is a wonderful thing and so is the new Beaver Themer. I personally love it, but there are a lot of people who don't know how to use it or see the reason why they should invest. Now, this tutorial is not going to give you a rundown on how to use it, but I will give you an example of why you should use it. And in this video, we are talking about curious clients. Now, imagine a scenario. You have a basic website for your client. They have a number of pages which all have different layouts. Some pages have a sidebar and some don't. The question I get asked is how do I make it simple for my clients to assign the different layouts to the pages without them using Beaver Builder? Well, in this video, I will show you how, and it's much easier than you think. First thing I need you to do is to download a plugin called Custom Post Type UI. Next, we're going to activate the plugin and go to Add Taxonomies on the settings screen. Here, I'm going to add a taxonomy called Layout, and I'm going to assign that to Pages. Next, as we scroll down, we need to change a few of these options to True, like here in the Admin Column setting and here in the Hierarchical setting. Now when we go to Pages, you will see the taxonomy called Layout. Here we can add a new layout called Sidebar. Next, we can go to Beaver Themer and create a new layout. And guess what we're going to call it? Yep, we're going to call it Sidebar. And we're going to keep it as a theme layout. And we're going to assign it to Singular. Here we now can change the location and as you can see, page layouts show in our dropdown. We can choose this and then select sidebar. Now we're going to design the look of the sidebar. Now for this tutorial, I am using the sidebar module, which I would recommend if you don't want your clients messing around in Beaver, as they can edit this in the widget area if needed. Now, because I'm editing the custom post type page, I have an extra tab here called post modules. This allows you to add information dynamically to the page. By clicking on it, I can actually drag out the post content and this will change depending on which page that I'm on. The same with the post tile, title and the rest of the other modules as well. Now I'm going to clean this up a bit and publish it. Now if you look at the website, you can see all the pages are the same. But now when I click on edit page, I can now assign the look or the layout to that page. This makes it easier for our clients because now they don't have to click into Beaver to add a layout. They just add their content to the page, click the relevant checkbox in the layouts tab and the look will automatically fit the page. Now you could do this with as many layouts and looks as you want. When a client adds a new page, the editing process will be super simple for them. Now to clean up your website a bit, we can get rid of the plugin that we used. If you are watching this tutorial and you already have a child theme installed, which I hope you have, then you can simply go to the settings page of the plugin, click on taxonomies and code, copy this code here, then go to appearance and editor and make sure the child theme is selected and click on functions PHP. Here you can paste the code, save it and delete the plugin from your website. 
Now, thanks for tuning in. I hope this tutorial helps you. If it does, give it the thumbs up and share within your community groups to let other people know. All the best and see you on the other side.